chocolate and white chocolate mix. I hit the GL button, folks. So just so you know, we are live. That means go live. I just made that up. I sound like freaking I'm intelligent now because I can make up a go live button. Uh, I'm a little impressed, Mikey. I'm a little impressed. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a regular genius. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Um, don't adjust your TV screen. Uh, yeah, we're we're back at it. Stevie's Stevie was feeling content. Uh, what was the what was the word he used? It's chilling like a Upsetic. villain. Chilling like um, a he was chilling like a villain. So I uh, I wanted to come come on again because I was not feeling so hot last night. So, uh, but anyway, so a couple of different cast members tonight. We have uh, Stump Greenwood of the um, Kentucky kind. Fuck you, Carolina, you got <laughs> If you're choking on Brady's dick. I knew I can get him. I knew I can get him to swear like a goddamn state trooper. Like two seconds flat. We have the uh, ever beautiful, um, not so hungover anymore, gunpowder beauty with us. Hi, hey, y'all. <laughs> And then we have the uh, very beautiful uh, dish Bronson with us. Hey, everybody. Uh, Gab, feeling a lot better. Thank you. Uh, I'll explain. I'll, I'll do a shorter version of that. Just Gabe dish, but I'll explain that in a minute or two. Uh, what's going on, Gia? Don't forget, you have a, you have your invite. If you want to come in, that's all totally up to you. Uh, SKSU, how the hell you been? I'm glad to see you get to see Dish. I everybody gets to comment on my on on the chat. That's you know, right. SKS, SKS. Hey SKS. Hey you Gears. Know. Uh, P2E joins us again too, ladies and gentlemen. P2E, what's up? Uh, How's it going? I haven't seen P2E in a little bit. Hope things are well, my friend. Uh. To get to what to what Gia was asking about. So last night I had a I was having a couple of issues, and uh, long story short, I had to go to the um, had to go to the ER, spend some time there. And the, the long and short of it is, is that I received a wound at work, and um, I went the next day or whatever to get meds for it because it. I got like an infection or whatever. And so what happened was is that the medicine they gave me for the infection um, didn't like me. To yeah. say the least. To say the least, yep. And which it didn't also didn't do anything. The uh, infection was growing. So the tail end of well, more than the tail end of last night. Uh, pretty much, the, pretty much the whole chat that was burning and really wasn't me. Uh, so after the chat, I had a smoke. My wife came out. She got up. She came outside. And we discovered what I, that had an issue. I was red, shingled red from my waistline right up to about here, and didn't even know it. So, but I'm here tonight. I'm on uh, different stuff and. Uh, Everything's getting better. I'm not red no more. See, I'm white as a goddamn cloud. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. But thank you for asking, Gia. Um, so, like, in a matter of hours, you went from lobster to Casper. That's kind of cool. Yeah, well, <laughs> Stump, you know how I am, right? I'm not going to the last kind of spider. And uh, <laughs> the doctor said if I, did, if I put it off for a couple of days. The gun would have the gun would have just went off because it, it was would have been a bad situation. So, G Trapper, how the hell are you, my friend? Hey, G Trapper. Hey, multi gunman. And multi gunman, thank you. And a multi gunman. Hope everybody's doing well. Lots of awesome fellas out in the chat. Yeah. See that? You see that? You know what this chat needs a little bit more of, Dish? A little bit more of the good old J Waters. <laughs> 69. You're going to be all right over there? I'll agree. You know, we can take all the day what we can get happily, but 
I'm sure they would agree. The chat could use more boobs. <laughs> did you say boobs? Yes, ma'am, I did. Okay, that's what I thought I heard. Yeah, boobs are great. Just going to throw that out there. So are guns. Guns and boobs are like a fantastic fucking day. Hell yeah. We want a new tattoo? Holy shit. That's a day right there. Who I need some tattoo therapy. You can't lose with that. I mean, how do you lose? Right. I, you, that's a unlosing situation right there. Like, that is a phenomenal day. Tattoos, boobs, oh, and guns. Oh, my gosh. I mean, <laughs> now I keep looking because of. See, a day like that leads to what a very really good dear friend of mine, who I love this new word. Those days lead to fornication trophies. Yes. Yes. Not my that issue. Is. Now, I mean, I will no longer have any more fornication trophies, but I do have to say, practicing is always fun. Well, yeah. Well, hell yes. It's even more fun. You can't have any more trophies. It really is. Trust me. My bank account really appreciates the fact that there will no longer be any more fornication trophies. <laughs> you may not know what this page is. Speaking of which. Yeah, we're doing homework on a Saturday because apparently Monday through Friday wasn't enough for one of them. <laughs> Fuck. I don't remember doing homework. I mean, I did probably did it at that age, but not too far after that, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have homework? Nope. Do you have homework? Nope. God damn well, it. Well, we, we sat there and a lot of people know that my children are ADD and ADHD. And so we have to sit there and keep them involved right. with stuff so they don't have... Downtime. Yeah, because, you know, downtime leads to chaos and fighting and just a whole lot of bullshit oh, yeah. that this man doesn't want to tolerate. And so we bought books, little workbooks that they can work on. And um, Little Miss has some for kindergarten and first grade. And our son has some for second grade and third grade. Oh, cool. And, um, I mean, they have the ones for their grade level, and then we have a level up. But it's the fucking weekend, people. Like, it's the fucking weekend. What the hell is wrong with these kids? I'm starting to think that they're possibly not mine, just for the simple fact that they're doing fucking homework on a weekend. <laughs> just gonna throw it out there. Those yes, ain't my... Yes, it's homework is yard chores and dishes. See, I'm mean. When they start fighting, I make them scrub baseboards and no, bathrooms. And um, I have too much breakable shit, and my breakable shit ain't cheap. So no, because <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm the oldest of four boys, and there's two, my mother, and father had two mistakes ahead of me, but they never did anything wrong anyway. But um, so I was always wrestling with my brothers, you know, like so I take the youngest brother on, and you know him and I would go with my other two brothers, you know. So I would, you know what I mean. And anyways, we used to play. Like, I get on my my brother that's right after me. He's probably two and a half years younger than me or whatever. <clears throat> Him and I get on our knees, and we'll let the two little guys, when we play football in my kitchen, and we'd use a, um, a, a legs. Um, remember the old pantyhose fucking egg? Yep. From the, from the, right? And then we used to put duct tape around that fucking thing. And well, I'm going to tell you something. My mother had, I say had, my mother had Hummels. On a hutch, some of which her mother gave her. Oh no! We go and knock on my grandfather's door. Hey, uh, Papa, we need your help. What? We just broke a hummel. Oh, you guys are dead. <laughs> She's <laughs> gonna kill you. <laughs> and he goes, "Mikey, you're the oldest one. You should know." I says, "I'm not the one who threw it." He says, it "Doesn't matter. All four of you involved. All four of you are gonna die together." <laughs> He goes and gets a super glue. Super glues it, no problem. She dusted it, no, nothing, right? No, there's no problems. Three years later, uh oh, 
one of her aunts come over, one of my grandmother's sisters. And she says, oh, I still got the hummer my mom gave me, da 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 da. And I'm like, don't touch it. Don't fucking touch don't it. Don't touch it. And so when she went to give it to my aunt, she just grabbed it a certain way. Doesn't my grandfather leave like a little teardrop of super glue? Oh, no. And she was like, What's that bump? And she looked at it and then she saw the back was cracked and she wasn't a fucking happy camper, let me tell you. Oh. Let me tell you how much trouble we're going to have for that. <laughs> I think I was working by then, for Christ's sakes. So the, the story I'm getting here is three years or so later, you still got your ass whipped for this ordeal, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> She's there is no there is no what do you call with my with my mother there is no um, of limitations no statutes of limitations with her. You did it. No. You serve your time. Yep. No. Just how she is. You know. I think it's funny how now that she's old, she's trying to get into heaven. The grandkids can do any goddamn thing they want. Oh, okay. Grandkids can get away with a fucking murder, which I think is absolute oh. bullshit. Grandkids get away with murder. You should see the fucking great grandchildren. They get, whoop, we lost Stumper. Um, you think the grandkids get away with murder? You got to see the fucking great grandchildren. Oh, I don't want that one either. What the fuck? <laughs> Here we go. Uh, the great grandchildren, oh, they get away with murder times fucking a hundred. <laughs> yeah, my dad's already said that for our oldest, he's already set up a uh, account for bail money because you know between kicking people's asses for you know bullying a girl or whatever, he's going to need bail money for, and then he's got one set up for my daughter because. Well, let's just face it. She's her mom's fucking carbon copy, and she's a fucking psycho. And we know before she ever turns 18, she's going to be in jail at least twice. Well. <laughs> Probably from whooping some dude who thought he was going to grab her butt or something, and she's got an assault charge. Hey, <laughs> Jay, what? It's only assault if, if he breathes. Listen, uh, I'm already trying to teach her that um, a bag of lye is really cheap and right. shovels are available everywhere. But don't forget the most important thing to tell her. You can't buy them together. Nope. Okay. Um, That's bad. Mr. J. Waters in 69 uh, graces his presence, graces our, uh, is gracing our presence with his... I fucked that all up. Gracing us with his presence. Um, does you have a red shirt? Does that mean you're 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 Scarlet? Is that what he's referring to? <laughs> no, it is her modest version of Jessica Rabbit. There um, you go. I just want to make sure. That's awesome, Stomper. Um, Jay what? How the hell are you? Good to see you. Dish was getting all upset because you weren't here. Yeah, and we even came up with a really awesome chant. You ready to hear it, Jay Watt? Even if you're not, I'm going to tell it to you anyway. <laughs> we love Jay Watt. Yes, we do. We love Jay Watt. How about you? Go, Jay Watt. Yeah. Okay, now, Jay Watt, what I want you to do is picture her doing that in, like, a, I don't know, a white tank. You know what I mean? <laughs> With her pom poms, because <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Great! I did a high kick and everything for you. You're yeah. terrible. Why are you terrible, kid? We got a cold. I'm sober. I'm sober. It happens. What do you got a cold? Did I get a cold? No, Jay Watt. Jay Watt says he's terrible, and I want to make sure and, you know. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, showing up duct tape and then fucking, yeah. Well, exactly, hey. exactly, Stump, right? You, you never you never buy those things in, you know, together. 
you know, like these idiots you see on TV that, you know, like the one here in, the one here in uh, Massachusetts, he came home and killed his wife or whatever, you know, and um, dumped her in the fucking dump in the whole nine yards. You know, they got him buying the duct tape. They got him buying this. They got him buying that. I'm like, dumbass. Dumb, right. dumb, 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 dumb. If you're going to fucking be in, if you're going to be a friggin' idiot and murder your wife, at least be smart about it. Gardening 101, guys, okay? You got to think smart about it. You dig a 12-foot hole, then dump the body. And then at six feet, you sit there and put a carcass of an animal. And then after all of that is done, you put an endangered species flower up top because, you know, you got to go big. Here's all you need. But before you do that, you call 811, and so they dig a hole for you so you don't have to do it. <laughs> Here's all you need. You need a, you need a giant-sized wood chipper and a garden hose to wash off all the fucking blood and fucking brain matter and everything else. Oh, no. Out. No, it splatters. If yeah, you yes, want but then you can, make, you can use her body as, what do you call it, as fertilizer. Fertilizer. For, for, yeah. Or just have a hog farm. I mean, they will eat so everything. Yeah, but then the yeah, but then the FBI people come and kill your hogs and take your fucking bones out of their belly. Gee. You know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, I'm not allowed to have a wood chipper, so um, apparently Tardot's a little scared if I have a wood chipper. <laughs> yeah, I bet. So, you know, right you just on, sure that there's a bag of lie lying around so if they sit there and start getting mouthy you just point to the bag of lie and be like really you look like you need some topical cream amen multi good job good job concrete shoes as we call them up this way <laughs> concrete shoes and a little slice and a little slice in the uh, air you know in your little lung area give you you know that way there you don't fill up with but yeah see ya right to the bottom (laughs) I don't know I watched a movie one time I think it was uh, Little Red Riding Hood or something where they sat there and was it the porn one no it's not the porn one it was supposed to be like a horror movie or something but they cut the belly open and then made made it so, you know, at the bottom of the lake, it's not going to fill up with air. Plus, they filled it with a bunch of rocks and sewed it up and then wrapped it in some kind of whatever. So that way it would stay anchored. But they failed to remember that fish are going to start eating at the, the core. <coughs> and pieces are eventually going to start floating to the top. Well, yeah, but that's it, if it, if they're in the lake, that's one. If you're in the ocean, the tide's going to take that thing out to sea. They'll never find it. It's been a long time since I've been to the ocean, but thankfully, in the ocean, if there's you know the scent of blood, it's going to bring sharks, well, and then you know it's a win-win. Well, like that idiot, that idiot from San Francisco. That's the only reason he got caught because he didn't even tie her up. She just killed us who were over and all the gases just, you know, she floated to the top. Dumbass. What's his name? Scott. Um, Scott something. Seen a mass take here today, Mike. Guy drove like a blind preacher headed to the whole house on a dollar night. Yeah. Uh, it had to be an old person because mass holes, speed limit's 50. We're doing at least 65, 70 on a, in a 50. That's just cruising speed. So that had to be an old person. I just know Mikey is thinking, if they only knew what I know about systems to get rid of bodies, the Westy system, the Winter Hill system, the New York system, absolutely. You know, but then I'm sitting alone digging up bones and digging up bones, resurrecting measures of love that's dead and gone, but I'm sitting alone digging up bones. Who sang that song, Gig, right? (sighs) 
No, it's just, you know, I don't know. It's how people are, I guess. I just don't understand why people feel the need that they have to kill their loved one. I mean, I get, I could understand it, you know. They don't want to pay the alimony. They don't want to pay whatever or whatever. Uh, Randy Travis, got you. It was just his birthday the other day or something, wasn't it? Last week or something. At, at this point in my life, like, Tardot stuck with me because I really don't have the time or patience to try to train someone new. So it's just way easier to keep them alive. Yeah. Gonna have to retrain somebody. That's just it's too much fucking work. See, that's the whole problem with me is the wife gets mad because I'm not trained. Listen, some some of them you just can't train. Okay, ladies, I'm, I'm doing you a public service announcement right now. You need to learn how to accept some of them can't be trained. <laughs> well, if it wasn't that, you know, during divorce, most women want to, you know, take every goddamn thing that any man's ever fucking made on his own and everything and decide, ah, you know what, I want that. Then there'd probably be less killings of husbands killing their wives. You know what I mean? So if they changed the laws, <coughs> it didn't make it to where um, a wife could go after a husband's social security and his pension. Do you not watch the ID network? There is a whole episode called Snapped, and it's a bunch of crazy bitches that just dealt with something that just threw them over the edge, and they fucking went berserk. Dudes usually have a reason, like, this gold digging bitch is trying to take my money, my kids, my house, my dog. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. But on Snapped, he didn't put the fucking toilet seat down, or he folded a fucking rag wrong, and this bitch lost her mind. Thank you. I, I just sit there and point at that, and I, I tell Dardat, see? See? You could have married one of those. <laughs> I'm not so bad now, am I? Thank you, uh, Jay. Well, hey, HB, halfback of the North kind. What's yeah. going on? Hey, North. Give you credit. She, she's the best. Yeah, no, absolutely. Stop. I, I, I just, you know, I feel for guys that want to get out that can't because they'll be broke. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I really feel for those guys. I really, really do. Because it's, you know, it's a lot of money. I mean, I can see, here's what I believe, right? So I believe if you get married and you buy a house together, well, then fine. Half the house is his, half the house is yours. Sell it, do whatever. I have one, buy out the other one, whatever. Like, fine. That's that's all well and good. Okay? But if I was gifted a, 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 a boat, or, or, or a trailer, or whatever. Uh, whatever I was gifted. It was for my birthday, for Christmas, okay? You have no rights to that, in my opinion. Right. Okay? Uh, and neither does he to her, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, if, if whatever, if... Um, Let me see. If there was a if there was a crucifix covered in diamonds that I wanted and it cost whatever, and my family got together and said, you know what, it's Mike's 60th birthday, I'm going to go buy it for him. You know, and they and they bought me this really expensive crucifix with diamonds covered in diamonds. She got no, she has no right to have any part of that. Nope. You know what I'm saying? And the problem is, is that they do. 
they get away with it because these judges in the, in these in these cases suck. Uh, these judges give them uh, some, not all judges, but the, some judges award these ladies with with the, uh, the guy's fucking pension and or his four hundred one k plan, which to me is totally totally wrong. Because she's not getting up in the morning going to work. He is. I'm not saying she doesn't have a job. I'm just saying that she's not going to his job working. You know what I'm saying? She has her own shit to do. You know, she has her own job to go to. You know? So, and then to come to find out, I was told by my own mother that at one time she could have, and still this is years and years, and they've been divorced since 1982. 82, 83, something like that, that she could have went after his Social Security. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? That's just taking like nothing wrong. She was like, well, obviously, it never would. She said, but are you kidding? I said, no, that's just terrible. They shouldn't, the laws should not allow you to be able to do that. That's horrible. Right. You know? Uh, there's a solution. Yeah, there is a solution. Live with them, don't marry them, and then they get nothing. Because Massachusetts doesn't look at uh, common law marriages anymore. (laughs) 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 I rather I I like HV. I like a hackbacks. um, uh, Reply better. Do you? The Fonz. The Fonz. Well, the Fonz got all the chicks, right? Right. We you trying to say it look like a hoodlum because we're wearing a black leather jacket? Mr. J. Watson of the 69 kind. Uh-oh, dish. Out of Pepsi. Uh-oh, dish. That's party style right there. I got to learn how to bring a cool down here. You really yeah. do. I do. I, I, I got to learn how to bring the cooler down here. See, it's weird because, like, when I drank, I there was no problem. I brought my cooler everywhere. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. It was terrible. I had a pickup truck then. I had my F 150. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah. I can remember it had to be 20 below. And uh, there was no wind. It was just a cold, cold night. And a couple of neighbors were still out there shooting the shit. And one of the neighbors brought out this old, remember the big, tall, they're not big, big, tall, tall, but they're probably four foot. And they were they were like blaze orange, uh, uh, hibachi grills. Mm-hmm. He had one of them. And uh, he turned it into a wood burner. But it opened up. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you know they. Anyways, they lit the fire. We're standing around. I I come pulling down the fucking street in the truck. I pull over my like, stumps so and they're shooting the shit with them all. And what are you doing? Is this fucking twenty below? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, well, it sucks because we don't have any beer and the fucking liquor store is closed. I goes. Oh, sucks to be you as I crack one, you know? Yeah. You know, like, where'd you get that beer? It looks so late. And I went, have you ever seen me out of beer? Have I ever ran out of beer? <laughs> Once I ran out of beer, and it never happened after that. Yeah. <laughs> I goes, take a beer out of the cooler. I'll never forget as long as I live. My neighbor, Sheila, jumps up in my truck. Opens the cooler. And I says, she's panning out beer. She says, oh, we'll just take the cooler. And I says, that sounds okay, too. You know? So uh, she couldn't she, she couldn't pull the fucking cooler <laughs> down the other <laughs> end of the bed of the truck. <laughs> How many beers are in here? I, said, I don't know, probably 60. Plus all the ice. She's like, you've already on mine. A 
I'm not the one out of beer. You people are. Right. (laughs) Some days are long over. Yeah. First it's cool, then it's filling up the empty Gatorade balls. Absolutely. Camera off. You got it. Um, had a truck. Now he's driving a dang Hyundai. Where the hell have you been? I got rid of that Hyundai a long time ago. <laughs> huh? I did have a truck. F one nineteen ninety seven F one fifty. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. No, she's married. She was married to a good friend of mine, Scott. All the other names thought we were fucking weirdos because we didn't mind the cold weather. You know, I, I had a great neighborhood. You know, we took the kids on snowmobile rides when it was in the middle of a snowstorm, you know, and then the neighbors, all the other neighbors would be like coming outside or whatever. And we're like, put the kids in a snowsuit. Send them down the street. And we just take them rides all night. You know, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Just fun. Whoa. It's cold outside, yeah. and y'all get on snowmobiles that have yeah. no heat, right. no sides. Yeah. You don't go out in a fucking tank top, sweetie. I understand that. I mean, it's okay. no suit, but it's still fucking cold. No, it's fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. No, say in the summertime, that's fun because you get on a four wheeler, you go to a watering hole, you do some mudding, you you strap a freaking cooler on the back of your four wheeler and have it ice down with some beer or whatever. Fucking my time mixers. I don't know what the fuck people drink. Mine was always moonshine. But you know, that's fun. It's warm. You can run around in a fucking bikini as far as anybody cares. But cold, you are layered oh. up. And as you're going through the cold air, like your nose hairs are fucking getting frost on them. Correct. And your lungs, as you breathe, it's like. <gasps> no, because you have fun. a scarf on. Most of the kids had scarves on. Women had, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I, I, um. <laughs> right on, Jay. What? No gear riding. Uh, the '97 that I had, you could still, I could still stand on a milk crate and do anything I want to do with that engine. I can still do what I wanted to it. It was after that they put all the they changed everything to computers and fucking. You can't. You couldn't do anything to them. But no, we just we had a good time. It, it was a lot of fun back then. I bet it was. Yeah, you know, we had a lot of fun. Now my kids all think I'm crazy. When they were growing up, I'd have them outside, and my wife, well, wait, wait, it's cold. It like gunpowder, it's cold. Why are you taking the kids out in the cold? <laughs> How about let them have a fucking snowball fight with each other? You know what I mean? It's like right. Let them be kids. But it's, but it's too cold you know, for you. It is, but not for the kids. Right. If you don't say it, it's gonna cut, they'll, 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 you know. Does the jibber go sledding? She goes once. I goes, that's your problem. <laughs> you know. I'm not talking mechanical. The body, yes, the body went from square to ball. Correct. Uh no. No, mine was was mine square? I was a square. Cash for Clunkus was a conspiracy to get rid of the cars they couldn't control. One eight seven seven cars for kids, kids. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Don't eat your car today. <laughs> Just keep that in mind, folks. 
I know, right, Nate Tracy? The hack back in Canada. Kids outside today, that's rare. Yeah, yep. they have too much shit to fucking play with inside. Kids outside unsupervised is rare, but kids still go outside and play. Well, well they do. It all depends where you are. Because I can't get my kids out of their fucking bedroom let alone get out of them. Yeah, but you also got teenagers, though. Yes, I have an 18 year old teenager and a 16 year old teenager, and chicks, too, and they're not. You know what I mean? Although, when they were kids, when they were little, I had them outside all the time. You know? Mm hmm. Camel goes down, we cut the lawn. Back in the 80s, our parents didn't give a fuck. Get outside. Don't come inside. That's why we drank out of water hoses and shit. Because if you went inside, you're going to have to stay in. Our yeah, right. Was when the street lights came on. Then I must have had a 96 gear. I'm sorry. Because mine was square. But I haven't had a truck since. I had that truck, and then it, um, I had that until when? Fuck, I don't even know. With these gas prices, I couldn't imagine having a truck right now. Yeah, it's but... ridiculous. It is, but... Um, you need them, you know, and... and you can't put a fucking deer in a fucking Volkswagen Beetle. You know what I mean? Sure you can. It's called strap it to the hood. Or a smart car Over. or a fucking... What's the other... What's that stupid-ass car they make that my daughter wants? I don't even know why. Um, Tesla. Oh. We, we <laughs> had a deer in a Chrysler Sebring. Yes, but the problem is, is that to get there, you're in the south. I'm in the north. And when I go hunting, it's cold, it's winter, and those cars suck in the snow. So I need a truck. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what they make all-wheel drive for. Come on, put some change okay, on but they don't make no all-wheel yeah. drive on a Tesla or a fucking... There's still changes of teenagers in our woods. Looks a few on their faces as she was to them with the orange hanging from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think dishes that mean. Do you, Gunpowder? Has the what? Do you think dishes mean enough to chase teenagers off with a orange handled parang? I don't think that's mean. I think that's entertaining. <laughs> have you, I mean, other than your your girls, have you sat there and actually had to deal with some of the freaking teenagers now? Like these stupid asses are out eating fucking Tide Pods, snorting fucking condoms. Uh, like, I don't really have much hope for the human the only, race. The only, ones I've dealt, the only ones I've dealt with are the ones... To either hang with my daughters or I see around the high school when I go to the high school events and stuff. Um, she's, <laughs> that, that's about it. Um, and they're pretty, they're, they're pretty, you know. I think that some of the clothing they wear is a little off, but. Right, Javon? Oh, really? So apparently HVAC says the Tesla Y can be an, an, an all-wheel drive option. But... Finding a charging station in the cold is probably going to be impossible. Your right. car's going to die and you're going to have to push it 40 fucking miles to reach the charging station. <laughs> yeah, that's a great fucking option, people. <laughs> Fucking electric cars are stupid. 
It might just catch on fire and you can stay warm by it. (laughs) 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 Till help comes. Sorry, we have to conserve battery. You can't charge your phone to call for help. (laughs) Yeah, really. (laughs) What's the commercial with um, with Bacon and his daughter? And he plugged something into the end of the car. Um, Kevin Bacon. Did you guys see this ad yet? No. Oh, yeah. Look it up. Kevin Bacon and his daughter. Do you have my bank card, baby? Oh, that's wrong, kid. What's up? I don't know. What time is it at? I don't know. Why? I don't know. I'll let you know tomorrow. Because that had to be asked right now. Absolutely. What? Listen. Can I? I love the hand flip. Like, oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I that, no, that was the, I'm flipping you off, Dad. You just don't know about it yet. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Crap, dude, your curse. I was like, shit. Well, they want me to go. Every time I have a fucking plan to do, it's always, well, I have to go here, Dad. You have to come here. And I'm like, I'm going fucking fish tomorrow because I didn't go today because it was so fucking cold. And I, I kind of slept this morning. Right. So. Mm. Start making the two week rule. If you can't tell me in two weeks you got something planned, I'm sorry. Oh, last fucking... minute, last minute things are no longer going to be tolerated. Suck it up, but it sucks. Every time, even if I say like on a Monday, I'm going fishing on Saturday. Friday night, they'll say, "Well, I have, I have to go here. Can you, can you?" And I'm like, "Nope." Do you not hear me when I talk? You know. So that's half my plans get destroyed just because. Oh, Dad, did you really say that? I wasn't listening, or I forgot, or like, yeah. Mm -hmm. What, what does Jaywatt have for us on the... Uh... It's the Kevin Bacon commercial that you were talking oh, about. Okay. I don't know. Hey. multi Gunman has a, has a pretty good view What's on that? Texas. I'm pretty sure it's a legal requirement to cut your dick and balls off prior to buying a Tesla. Yeah? Pretty much. I mean, that's your thing. That's your thing. I mean, go or knock yourself out, but... Kind of like I Steven mean, Saturday Night Streams, yeah, yeah. I don't have dick and balls, so does that mean I get to just buy one? I mean, granted, I'm gonna load it full of Tannerite and shoot it with a thirty thirty. I mean, they're doing but... cast vehicle. I mean, they're kind of cool. The the op, the what do you call it, Tom? Are kind of cool. Other than being electric, you gotta you know, drive, and then you gotta like. To make your whole fucking trip, you got to stop six fucking times and wait 20 minutes to get a fucking charge on a fucking car. I can sit there and drive 520 fucking miles before I run out of gas. Do you know how many gas stations I pass between here and yonder? <laughs> and it doesn't take me 20 fucking minutes to fucking pump a, fu- a fucking tank full of gas. Like, right. Well, I got better shit to do than just wait around twiddling my fucking thumbs. And can you even charge your car and your phone at the same time? Like, is that going to make the time go longer? I have no idea. (laughs) Probably. Oh, good grief. (laughs) I, I don't understand why they can sit there and have it to wear gas cars are so fucking awesome but a fucking electric car going down the road can't sit there and fucking charge itself from the rotation of your tires <laughs> makes no fucking sense i can sit there and hook up some fucking shit to a bicycle and i can power my fucking coffee pot but you can't fucking figure out how to make four wheels turning at the same time power a fucking car and recharge it so you can just go forever now you're talking. I'm telling you, man. Like these fucking money hungry bastards are fucking ruining it for everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Not gonna right. for me. 
I'll never buy one. I mean, I'm not going to buy one either. If I bought one, I would sit there and pack it full of Tannerite and fucking shoot it with a 30-30 and make a video and be like, hey, watch how many pieces this goes into. You ready? Said. <laughs> now that sounds like fucking fun. An expensive video, but it still sounds like fun. Right. Jay Watch says, but without electricity, how would you power up your Hitachi wand? Listen, I don't have a Hitachi wand. I have a fucking lumber snack. Oh. No batteries needed. You're right, kids. No profit in that. But, I mean, it is what it is. If you, if people want to go electric, go electric. Just, I particularly don't like them because you can't hear them. Um, but see, that would be me, great not for like, teenagers sneaking me, out, like, sneaking home. To me, to me, uh, you know, you can't hear them in a parking lot. Like the lady hit the horn on me, and I didn't even hear what she was. I would have heard a regular vehicle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, in smart cars, I don't like. I don't like in- the, the, the the fact that you would have to plug it in and all that happy bullshit. It doesn't. It's, come appealing to me. I wonder what the horn sounds like on them, though. Like, does it sound like one of those silent farts oh. where it just goes, <laughs> or does it sit there and make the sound and then it goes, pussy, pussy. <laughs> like, that would be great. <laughs> Ooh. Can I get that sound on my Volvo? Oh my god, do you know how much just fun me, that would be going down the highway? Just give me an eight on <laughs> the truck. And and like I told I don't know, I might have told you this before, but I actually saw a smart car in the back of a pickup truck. Um, that was funny. Uh, those things should be guy down the street used to have one where I used to live. I mean, obviously you never drove it in the winter, but So it's like a motorcycle. It's it's out of use for you know at least three to four months. No, you can ride you a motorcycle all day. year. No, you can ride a motorcycle all year round. It's just some there's, I, there's some diehards up here that'll do that. It's just that it's too light. You, there's no you can't you you have a better you have better chances of, of controlling a motorcycle in the winter than you do a smart car. Um, the most we we sat there and had like sixty up to sixty mile an hour winds the other day, and my fucking SUV was a little hard to stay in yeah. my lane at times. And I'm sitting Absolutely. here like, damn! And these like tiny fucking cars, the little two seaters that have no back seat and a really tiny trunk. Yes. Right. I I'm sitting here wondering how in the hell you know it didn't go into the ditch at times because just a real good whoosh, would sit there and make it just fly off. Don't forget how low they are, right? So the horn plays the song Milkshake. I never heard that song before. Yeah, my milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard. And it's better than yours. I could teach you, but I have to charge. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Yeah. Oh my god, that would be a great song for my horn. (laughs) I want it now. Is that a rap song? No, I no, I think it's more pop. But <laughs> a good song when you're on the highway stuck in fucking traffic would be move, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. <laughs> okay, so I need someone to Google how I customized my horn. That is gonna be fucking awesome. They used to sell <laughs> back in the early eighties, late seventies, early eighties. They used to have this little thing, and you, you, it came with a, it came with a. Uh, I don't want to say it came with a horn because you got to think that it's not a. You had to, you had to plug it. You had to have, go to a mechanic and have them do it, right? And it came with a horn, horn. You know what I mean? You, so you, you install it underneath your hood. Uh huh. And then there was like a couple of different settings you can put. You can put like uh, they had the Dukes of Hazard on there, that the. Uh, 
right? Uh, you can play that. You can play uh, a uh, uh, an old, you know, the old uh, like they're on the Model Ts, whatever. You, you know, like back. Oh in the yeah, old oh, with the mask. Yeah. So you can. They had all these, all these things you can put on there, and I forget the name of the thing, but I looked to see if anybody had one for, as an antique item, and I can't find it. Um. But they were pretty funny. Yeah, so every time you hit your thing, it'll be go like that. So I guess in today's modern world, you can have your uh, milkshake song on there and everything. Now, if I could it hook up to like my brakes, so when I have to brake check somebody, it could sit there and say, "If you're gonna ride my ass, at least pull my hair." Right. Back up, bitch, before I slam on my brakes. I need chloroform so I can fucking knock these kids out. They're driving me nuts. Fucking fighting over Elsa. My brake tested a car one day. (laughs) And uh, I was doing, it's probably 45 mile an hour speed. I was doing like 55. And this guy pulled out of the street. was right up my ass. I'm like, who's this asshole? Mm-hmm. And I remember telling my buddy, just put your seatbelt on. Why? <laughs> as well as time for a new car anyway. And he put his seatbelt on, and I fucking two-footed my fucking brakes. So, mash. Oh, you all right? He goes, I'm fine. That's good. Get out of the car. I go, could you get get any further up my ass? Do you know what what is wrong with you? You hit your brake as well. Do you see the cat? (laughs) Obviously, back then, we didn't have cell phones to call the police department or anything like that. Right. So I said to my buddy, just walk across the street and go tell the guy at the gas station to call the cops. The fucking guy says, you don't have to call the cops. I already did. I said, how did you call the cops? He was with this. He was a cop. Oh. He was a cop. Oh, yeah. Of course, because when he put the call on, he got an accident. They all came. (laughs) So a couple of cops that I knew came to the accident and Mike, what happened? I says, I stopped for a cat. He was up my ass. I said, he pulled out the street over here. I said, he was up my ass. I mean, like literally up my ass. Mm-hmm. And I said, and I seen the cat, and I don't want to hit the cat. You being a cat lover and all. Me being a cat lover and all. (laughs) (laughs) One of the cops that I knew, believe me, the other one's like, there's no fucking way there's a cat there. And uh, he goes, you hurt? I goes, nope. He says, what about your passion? No, he's good. He goes, so are you? Because I was only like 17 or something. Okay. And he says, uh, Mike, he says, you're only 17. He says, I have to notify your parents. Because go right ahead to fucking, I live fucking a quarter mile right there. And uh, I says, I think my mom's home. He went and got my mom. My mom come up. You all right, my mom? I says, yeah. She goes, no bumps, no nothing, no can. I says, no, I'm fine. I says, my car ain't, but apparently right. the town, apparently the town of Wilmington's going to pay for it. <laughs> All the guys were fucking pissed, you know. <laughs> but I did, I did, I got, I got, I got a lot of money out of that for that. You know? <laughs> Thank God for that cat. <laughs> Thank God for that cat. <laughs> yeah. They put it. It was in the newspaper, and you know, just the town. You know, 
<laughs> oh yeah, it was funny. Yep. My mother said, So what happened? I was I'm freaking you know, I got home and everything and they towed the car and she, she says, What happened? Oh man, just fucking guy pulls out now that it was a cop couples out unless it wasn't a cruiser. She goes, yeah. He goes, he's right up my ass. That's the next thing I know. This fucking cat come out of nowhere. And she just does one of these. (laughs) 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 She goes, well, you're all right. It's all I care. I'm fine, ma. How the garden. What's happening? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? And with no phone call to Mr. Featherstone, poof, it all went away. Right. All right. Elsa's hair is rebraided. One crisis averted. (laughs) Poor Elsa. Good God. That was hard in my life, Dish. Yeah. That was funny. It was funny. <laughs> Sounds like a good one. Oh my god, they're all they all came dish. Every one of them. <laughs> it was fucking lights and lights and lights and fucking. Because all he did was he got on the radio, so they got an accident. Yeah. Mom. That's good. But anyway, yeah, no, it, it was good. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Back when I used to be an asshole. <laughs> the good old days. The good old days when I, when I was at Winter Hill. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Bunker Hill. I don't know about Winter Hill, but I went to Bunker Hill. Bunker Hill Community College. Well, you fancy. You went to college. Yeah, I did. I went to college for... I went... Let me see. It's a two-year school. So, so I get my associates. Yeah. <laughs> two-year school. And I went for a year and a half. I never got my associates. So it's a good question, Jay Watt. So why was I on the Comic Con Paul? I'm like, I have no idea. I I really think he thought I was somebody else. Um, that's what I really think. But but what I mean, he was up my ass. I'm telling you. He was, and we were flying. Yeah. You know? God, he was up your ass and he didn't even buy you a drink first? That's fucking well, rude. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I've never had anybody that close behind me in a vehicle, ever, that wasn't in traffic. Um, at that speed? Oh, no. Nah. No. I need a I need a dose of chloroform. Chloroform, yep. Yeah. I'm sure Todd will help you out though. Chloroform or buying me a drink first. Chloroform or putting the pillowcase over your fucking head. One or the other. <laughs> Listen, if my face is going into a pillow, mm, there better be some shenanigans. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that wasn't what I was thinking, but okay. Listen, I wrangle three children every day, and we have murder mittens here. Um. 
he's not getting rid of uh, rid of me. I am a necessity. Who was it that uh, was it was it Get Smart that used to talk into the phone, or was it on Gilligan's Island? Who used to talk into the phone into the spoon? Oh, I have no idea. I'd probably Get Smart. Yeah, it might have been. It may have been. Maybe you're right. I figured the class historian Kia Ryan nineteen would know. Yeah, he would. Or Jay Watson of the Or Jay Watson, kind. yeah. He's at, he's putting numbers out there. Eleven, <laughs> twelve. <laughs> Why mini, I don't know. My mini me, he could probably hear in the background counting. Oh, whatever. Okay. Freaking assignment is on her page. Oh, okay. The spy on Gilligan's Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The spy on Gilligan's Island. Remember? Yes. It was, it was, wasn't I, it a, was it a Gilligan double? And he was talking into the I, spoon. I don't remember the episode, but that makes a lot more sense, I guess. I think he was talking into the spoon. Get Smart was a funny movie. Yeah. Well, the series is even better. 99. Oh, he sounded like the little fucking duck from the little fucking penguin with the uh, walrus cartoon. Remember that cartoon with the little fucking with the big fat walrus and the little fucking penguin? And they were like best friends. I don't remember that one. I forget. I'm getting too, too fucking old now. Wow. I was probably watching the Sonny and Cher Scooby Doo episode. Yeah, you probably were. <laughs> I was probably trying to figure out how to get rid of Sonny. Probably. <laughs> Are you talking about Tennessee Tuxedo? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Get Smart, the original Get Smart guy, Don, whatever the hell his name was. He sounds just like the fucking Tennessee tuxedo guy. Chili Willie? No, not Chili Willie. He will is chili. <laughs> but put a yeah. On it. That's better put a blanket on that fucking thing, bro. <laughs> chili Willie. My will is chili. <laughs> and it was some undies. Exactly. But no, no worries, Jay Watt. You can just use a band aid for a blanket. Yeah, good. Where is. Okay. I wonder where Shalisa is tonight. I was thinking about the same thing. I, and I sent her a thing. Um, I mean, her and she might be out with Steve. True. Or Steve, too. Are we doing Stevie or Steve, too? What are we doing? What are we calling him? I think Steve's his middle name. His first name's Larry or something like that. We better stick to Larry. <laughs> his real name's Larry. We're calling him Steve. I think so. I could be wrong, but there's too many Steves. I know that. <laughs> right. Surprised Mikey didn't say Tennessee tuxedo. Fucking sudden. <laughs> is that who it is? I don't know. It's some, it's one of those fucking things. If I'm not mistaken, Tennessee tuxedo had the walrus. That's what I just said. The guy but, with the, the the penguin with the walk around with the walrus. That's Tennessee tuxedo. I think so. Yeah, no, I don't know where Shalisa is. Um, maybe she's maybe, or you know what I mean. Or well, she might be out with the neighbors. You know, she hangs with the neighbors sometimes. Yeah. 
So it's all good. Oh yeah. It happens. It happens. Now see tonight because Stevie gave me a ripping ripping me last night because of the last Saturday night. You didn't tell me that you sent a link. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> so I put on that I sent links. Now you gotta say it. Send you a link. Sent you a link. Um let me guess. Tennessee tuxedo. Let me check. Yep. And it's been like twenty think, years since I've fucking seen that. And Jay Jay Walk, don't you think his voice sounds like get smart? The original get smart. And there's Bullwinkle. Hey Rocky, why don't you pull a rabbit out of my head? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the penguin and the I can't believe I don't remember that. That's old. Oh yeah, that's an old fucking cartoon. Like super old. Like before I was born old. Yep. Now he wasn't part of the um what was the one that came on two o'clock in the afternoon? Uh oh shit, I can see it now with the In what year? They took it on a slide. Remember those slides that went like this? Mm-hmm. Uh, in the in the show theme song, it would show them on the slide. Banana splits. Banana splits. I think he was part of the banana splits uh, cartoon hour. I think I'm not sure, but I think he was. It is him doing the voice. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. So Tennessee Tuxedo was was get smart. See that dish? I don't know. I don't I don't forget some things. Right. But what are you gonna do? Keep getting these pop ups for the uh, notifications. I'm like, I'm good. Hey, Joe's Joe, man. Joe, how you been? Good to see you. Um, so, tomorrow, I think it's supposed to be warm here. So, I think what I'm going to do, Dish. Yeah. Um, weather, weather, tomorrow, Sunday, high of 50. I'm definitely going fishing tomorrow. There you go. <coughs> Don Adams is his name. Thank you, Jay Watt. Get a calendar and tell your kids, if you want me there, you need to put it on my calendar. Yeah. Um. I'm definitely going fishing tomorrow. Good. I gotta get out. I gotta. It's just silly, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe I'll even do a video. There you go. That would be awesome. You know? Productive and multitasking. Look yeah. at you. So it's supposed to be fifty on tomorrow. 43 Monday, 48 Tuesday, 55 Wednesday, 63 Thursday, 57 Friday. Oh, motherfucker. This must have sucked. Yes, it did. No, Joe, I haven't had ice all year. Um, very, 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 very small ponds out in the western part of Mass. Had them almost on the New York border. They didn't have it long, you know. 
Um, and that was it. Uh, other than that, the, the, never. We didn't have any ice. Nope. So no, I'm going. Joe, oh, I'm going open water fishing on the uh, Merrimack River here in Massachusetts. <clears throat> Yeah, this weather's terrible. I don't know. It's going to be 68 on Wednesday. You know what that means? That's tank top weather and great weather to sit there and go knock down some fucking walls at the Hill House. Hey. <laughs> don't judge me, Shalise. Or er, don't judge me, Dish. I'm not. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> I'm usually telling her, don't judge me. <laughs> now I got you giving me the look of judgy. Oh my gosh. What no, but Jay Watt shared a video of some lady eating mayo. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know what? For that, I retract my little chant I did earlier for him. <laughs> right. <laughs> no more chants for you, mister. <laughs> I cannot believe the, the weather. 60 something degrees in fucking February. Oh, it's, it's terrible. It's 33 right now. Do you know how excited I am for 68? No, actually, it's. Uh, actually, it's. Um, actually, it's 28 right now. There's 37 here. 28 degrees where I live. See? Wow. Mm -mm. That, that's a tad bit frigid. Like 33s. A little frigid too. Well, it's had been uh, frigid last this time last week. It was fucking minus fucking twelve or something. And that, you guys, is why I will never live in that state. I love Stevie and Dish and Susie. You Lisa. lived in fucking Michigan. And I fucking left Michigan. It's cold. <laughs> the only place it ain't cold is the fucking Key Lago. Yeah, but I need a passport to get there, probably. No, you don't. It's the United States. It's Key West. But I don't swim. You don't need to. You can I fly. mean, I could, drive, I could drive to Key West, but oh, they have gators. Yeah, see, Joe, Joe's, Joe's in New York, and it's 25 there, so it's chilly. <coughs> but, yeah. Joe, do you guys even have ice up in upstate New York? But see, that's like six hours for me. I can't, I'm not going to, you know what I mean? Right. It's too fucking cold. I'm ready for spring and summer. What was the city that she used? Oh, I'm trying to think of the name of the city that my sister used to live in in New York. The town rather than that city. Um. Shit, it's up by the Finger Lakes dish. Oh, the Finger Lakes. Why well, I always forget the name of that fucking town dish. Huh? Oh, wow. Well. Ithaca? No. Not Ithaca. That's too close to me. Uh, Havensport? No. Corning. No. Okay, I just gotta open up my map and go to New York. I'll get it Zodi. so I open it. No. Stop. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been to New York. Nice state, New York. Beautiful. <laughs> Uh, I've been to Saratoga. New York is beautiful because they got the horse races there. Um, Lake George is beautiful. Um, I've stayed in New York City. What are their quite a few, um... quite a few times? But I I I like. Um, they had the Olympics in Lake Placid, New York, a hundred years ago. So that was kind of cool. You 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But now this is fucking killing me, Dish. But I can't find it now. Dish, why do I think it began with an S? I don't know. God damn it. Cause it took six hours. How's the old saying go? Of all things I miss, I miss my mind the most. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I can't find it this time. Usually I find it right away. Damn it, I hate that. Damn. Damn. Hey, Gerald B., what's going on? I don't know. I just sent you screenshots. Of yeah, so you, you got to send me your phone number because um, when my phone went for a swim, your your number was another one that didn't make it. That's going to freaking bother me now. I'm listening, honey. I'm sorry. Seneca Falls. Jesus Christ. New begin with an S. Okay. Joe, my sister used to live in Seneca Falls. Uh, New York. Found a video for GPD. Yeah, I do. I do drive more. I do. I, I, I've driven more than six hours, but when Mikey drives... I don't like to stop, okay, unless I have to, so. You definitely do not want an electric car then. No. <laughs> that would be bad. Are you 12 miles south of Saratoga? Oh, really? And they had the Olympics. 82, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I'm at Lake Placid. Yep. Um, 12 miles south of Saratoga. Would that be uh, Schenectady? That's where I. That's where I stayed when I went out there. I stayed in Schenectady. No way. You're the Mikey, who's the brother to the Seneca Falls. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> she loved it up there, my sister. But then she got the opportunity to come home again. So, what the hell the government paid for it? So now she's down in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Down there with all the fishermen. No, she wants the. Uh, she she works as a uh, what do you call it? She's a park ranger. Oh, okay, cool. But she also does what do you call it? The office. So, but uh, but I believe she's at the whaling museum. I got you, Jay. I mean, yeah, Jay. I got you, Gerald. Thank you. I just got the notification. Yeah, I took out numbers. But didn't take out numbers that I've had in my phone since I've had all my phones. There's people in my phone that have died, and I won't take the number out of my phone. Oh, yeah? I just don't have the heart to. Yeah. I don't know why. I just... Put it to you this way: This I have a I have a uh, a coworker that died back in 
shit. Let me see. I left the company in. He must have died in 2015 or something. And uh, I still have his phone number in my fucking phone book. On my cell phone. I just, I won't get rid of it. Yeah. You know, it's just how I am. But what are you going to do? You know. <coughs> but why was the person was was Miss America somebody uh, from Seneca Falls? Is that why he said that? I, I can't think. To the, you know what I mean? I'm having. One day a phone will show up and Mrs. Mikey is going to see videos she never thought were possible. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't see shit. <laughs> Not allowed. So I password my phone. There you go. And I fingerprint it. Oh, do you? So that way they have to think they're funny while I'm sleeping and they go like this. I still not have the passcode. So. Right. They ask me all the time for the password to the cable. You know, you ain't not getting that cable. You ain't not getting that password. <laughs> Come home, my cable bill will be three thousand dollars. Right. Well, we only watch seven movies, Dad. Yeah. I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> oh, we, only, we only bought the first three seasons. Oh, okay. Dad. Yeah, right. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She's taking mental notes. That she is, that she is. Where did Gun Party Beauty go? I don't know. I'm here about oh. to beat some children. Oh, well, before <laughs> you listen to me, before you beat some, you have to come back. You have to come back. You can beat your children later. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go upstairs and use and use the uh, little boys room. Mm -hmm. And I don't I don't wanna leave this here by herself. She's not by herself. All right. You give me chilies. I still have Tim Ledoux's number on my phone. Oh, you give me chills. I still have Tim Ledoux's. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, Joe, I, I, I won't get rid of them. Um, uh, my father in law passed. I still have his phone number in there. Um, friends of mine that I have, uh, I, I just, I just won't do it. Uh, I don't know why. I just won't. You know, I right, dish you're in charge tonight. Alrighty. All right, Gunpowder. Don't don't leave her by herself. She's not by herself. I'm here. I'm all alone. <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> Never alone. No. Never. So, what kind of shenanigans are we gonna get into before Mike gets back? I don't know, but we should think of something. <laughs> definitely telling him I showed the 1911. All right, definitely. That's awesome. I mean, right now, my 22 series is asleep in the crib. And then the 38 special is over by the TV, getting into some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. <sighs> Another PSA announcement for all the folks out there. Dogs are a lot easier. Just skip over having kids. I, Just I'm skip it. Sure. 
me love mama. Well, you know what? Okay, that one can stay. Okay. <laughs> that was so cute. She's rotten. Oh, Lord, help me. Lord, what? Help me. Do you see um, where? What? Over here. <sighs> so. I'm in blank. Are they still doing homework or are they done? Um, no, I think okay. it's just. I should yeah, beat them. <laughs> Go make some chloroform <laughs> and ask them if the rag smells funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is Miss Dish. And then breaking them out. That is Miss Dish. Hey, this Hello. Is my Miss Dish. Mm -hmm. Both have the same Miss. Yep, they all have the same Miss. You know why? And Miss Nicely. Mm -hmm. Can have them Miss. Yep. Because Miss is for really awesome ladies. Yeah, like this nice seat. These are ah, stand out pink. Mm hmm. So, dogs can go in cages and uh, it's not frowned upon. <laughs> <laughs> not frowned upon, right? It's not frowned upon. Let's go. Be. Not frowned upon at all. Mm -mm. But if anybody would like a redhead for the right price, or you know, maybe a forty-four mag, right? Fifty, B 50 BMG. Oh, I'd yeah. much rather forty-four mag. We could do a trade. We could totally do a trade right about now. <laughs> Is Tar not sleeping? No, he went out on the back porch. He's smoking. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's got to be up to open the store tomorrow, so I'm surprised that he's still awake. Oh, okay. Mommy, look or he's scared he's that one of them um, won't survive morning. That could be why he's staying up. He's like, that, oh, could, be. <laughs> that could have something to do with it. Well, I think one of them may, may not make it. Hi, Guns Girl. How's it going? Dang, it's been a while. How's it going? It's been a long time. A virtual one that is a good It's so good to see you, Guns Girl. It really is. I see you on Facebook every now and then, but it's good to see you again. Watch it, Jay White. I um, love you. <laughs> I don't like the I I don't care what you want. Just go get changed. So, I think the uh, recipe for chloroform is uh, <laughs> a cup of bleach to three tablespoons of rubbing alcohol, or it's the other way around. Not quite sure. It's the only reason why I haven't made it yet. You could always make a batch of each. <laughs> I could. <laughs> See which one doesn't work. Yeah. I mean, we've got three kids. <laughs> Two of right. them are all practice and test drive first. <laughs> Jay Watt, right? <laughs> Guns Girl. <laughs> shenanigans. Shenanigans. Always shenanigans. All right, I'm back. There he is. All right, sorry about that. Look who's out there. It's Guns Girl. Hello, Guns Girl. <laughs> I 
How you been? It's good to see you. Hey, yep. Gun Girl. <laughs> did 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 Gunpowder answer gear? Is she gonna have a a garden out there? I don't even know if I'm gonna be in the house this year. I want a garden garden, but I can't. After we we use pots and shit like that. Oh sure, yeah, pots are good. Because we don't, you know what I mean. Yeah. We used to till they made us. They filled all the thing in with fucking. And it's only four foot, five foot, six foot long. But uh, they had shrubs there. First thing I did, I tore them up because I saw everybody else doing it. I said, "Fuck it!" I was like, "Why yeah. did you do that?" It was because they were doing it. So she's like, "Great." And then the people come in and they said, oh, we're going to put in rhododendrons oh. and wood chips. I got one rhododendron that's living, the, and it's still only this big. So. <laughs> oh, Mikey, is this one of the numbers you was looking for? How does he know the fucking area code in which? He's smart as a whip. I don't live in that area code, but that's the old area code number to Massachusetts. It's no longer 617, it's 781-418. <laughs> 781-508-413 is the West Pond, Massachusetts. Okay. Uh, I am in 978. Uh, a little below me is, is um, 781. And then the cape and all that is, um, five of, I believe, 508. So, yeah. I will not buy garden stuff from Lowe's. I will not buy garden stuff from Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I visit Home Depot probably two to three times a week. Yes, but see, I think why Gia is saying that, honey, is because Guns Girl works at uh, Home Depot. He probably has um, He probably has um, Yes, Jay what? Um, he's probably saying that because every time he goes, he buys something to do with gardening. <laughs> he's which is which is cool though. He it, see the thing is he's good at it. You know, I said this last night. I am not a green thumb. You know, that's the wife's thing. You know, that yeah. She's, uh, the only thing I do, I argue with her is, uh, um, I water I water them twice a day. I will. When, when I do it, I do it twice a day. Mm -hmm. She says, oh, no, my grandfather only. I said, oh, whatever. <laughs> I want them twice a day, especially when it's 90 degrees outside. Um, I'll, I'll water them early in the morning before I go to work. And then at night when I come home from work. I'm pretty sure when I look at plants, they just suddenly die because oh, I can't grow shit. <laughs> but um, I can have a freaking awesome garden if I put, or like a flower garden. I could put fake flowers out there and make it look badass. But you give me a flower, <laughs> that bit died as soon as I look at it. So I've killed a cactus, okay, and that's pretty bad. So we uh, <laughs> she we had we had one pot of chili to, uh, cherry tomatoes. Don't ask me which ones. I know it's five different fucking small this grape tomatoes is this tomato I, yeah i know that but i don't know which ones they were and then we had the regular the nice big fat red ones and then she did uh she did a cuke and then she did the basil and the and the um what else spice did she do cilantro i don't know sage uh lavender no. Um, but she did she did two of those or three of those and then what else did she do she didn't want another one 
I think this year I'm going to, with the help of my, my best friend upstairs, I think I might, because those, those, I just don't know where to put it. But I want to build a, like a three-step, what do you call it, so she can put all her, like a floral stand, you know what I mean? Just, yeah. And then she can put all her stuff right there, obviously, except for the cubes and all that, but. Um, Me either, Jay Watt. I can oh, green do peppers. that she did, through. She did green peppers. Oh, okay. Um. And she did well with the green peppers. They came in beautifully. Good. Um, one of the ones, though, had some fucking bug loved the leaves. It still grew. But some bug loved the fucking leaves on the sun bed. Uh, but it, like I said, it still grew. So, you know. I, I learned in Missouri that I, I cannot grow onions. Um, oh, no. I don't know what I did, but I fucked them up. And <laughs> bell peppers and stuff like that. I threw the seeds in, and you know, surprisingly, they did good. And then, um, my carrots were a little, I don't know what was wrong with them. And my radishes never came in, huh? Deer tore up cantaloupe, watermelon, my squash, which I thought was really weird. Um, they love squash. And we had a mole. I can't remember what it tore up. Bear. And the groundhogs are a complete Don't and utter pain in yeah. my butt because they wrecked a lot of stuff. And then my cabbage. I don't know what the hell happened, but um, some bug sat there and started laying a bunch of eggs in them and but you can you can you can you can just buy a pelican and take care of the fucking groundhog issue. Okay, so that was my plan, but of course, you know, my dad being a fucking weird ass person that he decided to be, sat there and said that the fucking groundhogs are cute. This man has never sat there and chose a fucking rodent's life <laughs> over cuteness. Right. But you show him a fucking groundhog and this motherfucker <laughs> loses his mind. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with him? So I couldn't take a pellet gun to the groundhogs because I said, you know, but they, um, see, that's what I want to do. Like when my brother before him, before him and my sister-in-law went their separate ways, his, his garden. Oh my God. His soil was as black as night. Um, and it was just, it was phenomenal. His soil, he could grow a fucking name it. He can grow it in there. Um, and everything was huge. His zucchinis were fucking as big as your arm. Um, and it's not a bit, you know, you know, there's no chemical type of, you know, he's not one of those people, mm -hmm. you know, um, and it's just the, the, the soil was just excellent. And he knew how many, he knew when to water and when not to and all that bullshit. So a really cool thing I found out in Missouri is rabbit shit <laughs> is a steroids miracle grow for whatever you, whatever plant you put it on. I used to use horse manure in my garden. It worked really good. Yep. Horse manure works excellent. Yeah. They used to, my, my father was telling me that when they'd go to a parade, my great grandmother, they grew up, he, my great grandmother and my, 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 my aunts, you know, her children, my aunts and, and, and my uncle, uh, they lived in Somerville, Mass. Yes, Jay Watt, Somerville. <laughs> and um, uh, my father would tell me that the his my, my grandmother and 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 her mother would send the kids out in the street with a fucking shovel in a bag anytime there was a parade because back then they didn't have ship bags on the horses, so when they had a parade, the sh horses were shit. They'd pick it up and throw it right in the garden. Oh yeah. You know, but, but that's what they did. I mean, they, you know, because they all lived through the depression and everything, you know, but it's 
funny how the back then shit is, is I don't think it ever left, but it's more prevalent today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It never left, but it's just more prevalent today. And and, and, and I think it's really cool. You know? I think it's really cool that, it, that it's back. Note to self, we search some of all. <laughs> Oh, we had, he, he, and we, when I grew up, we used to have a garden too. I hated weeding the fucking thing, but. Yep, weeding was always so much fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking sucked. My buddy never, never weeds his fucking garden. You know what he does? What's he, he do? Puts, he puts hay down. Yep, I have a friend in uh, White Cloud, uh, Michigan, that does the same thing. He buys big, huge rolls of it. Yeah, he puts hay down. And yep. I don't weed a garden, Mike. I use hay. What are you talking about? He said, I use hay. And I saw it on a video, too. Uh, what's his name there? Uh, boss. Uh, swamp Man. Spot. Boss of the Swamp. Oh, okay. JC, he he did it. Uh, when he was living in New York, he did it. Sorry about that, guns girl. You know his dog died. Really, Frankie. Remember the the um the well, black and white sad. the black and white uh, what's it, what's that breed? Um, call is that call? That's no, not a collie, but it's a. Um, whatever breed that dog is. Um, right on, SK, you're welcome. Um, yeah, he passed away. Border Collie. Border Collie? Yeah. I know weed in my garden. I grow weed in my garden. <laughs> No, but I, I like, I don't, I mean, my brother went all out. He did all the zucchini. He's like, sound like gunpowder beer, but they had land to do that. You know what I mean? I don't have that sure. land to do that. Um, and where I wear two drops, I don't have the, I don't have the time to do it either, you know? Right. Hmm, some of them has a neighborhood called Winter Hill. Imagine that. Yeah. It's always a there's all there's also a bank named after that too, Jay Watt. Winter Hill Bank. Winter Hill Savings Bank. <laughs> yep. Bakery. Oh, ice cold Pepsi goes down way too fast. Yeah, it does. But it's oh so good. Well, not the Pepsi part, but a cold drink. Right. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yeah, do you grow the do you grow the grape tomatoes or the small ones? I'm not really a small one lover. I like the regular size tomatoes, the big the big ones. Right. Um, I don't know all the different types of names. I, I'm, I'm I, again, I'm not a. Right. Uh, my brother will tell you all the names. I I can't. Uh, but yeah, he did squashes, zucchinis, all that shit, and all that shit would come out the fucking as big as your arm. Yeah, um, that's awesome. And he would always, you know, he'd show up and he'd be like, "Hey, take this home with you." I'm like, oh. "He says take it home with you." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> you know, eggplant, fucking. So you like taking the eggplant, slicing it as thin as you can, and then putting it in a fucking frying pan. You like the grape tomatoes? See, I'm not a grape tomato type of guy. I'll eat them. You know, if they're in my salad or whatever, obviously, you know. Yeah. But I prefer a regular tomato. Gig Ryden says, super sweet, 100 Cherry tomatoes are a must in my garden. Oh, those are amazing. Yeah, the kids, they are good. 
kids like those just by themselves. Yeah. That's my brother. My brother and my dad both. They would fucking go to the garden, take a take a tomato off the vine, go like this. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a little wipe on his shirt. Throw some pepper on it and eat it. Uh-oh. Yeah, the big beefs and uh, Roma tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and the super sweets are what we usually try to get. Uh, cool. Awesome gear. 23 pounds. Wow. <clears throat> Did you can any of that? Can any of that uh, gear? What did she say? Love the eggplant. And <laughs> blow them up the eggplant in the mouth. Oh, yeah? I'm a dirty bitch. There's nothing wrong with being a dirty bitch. My jalapenos, like, those did really good. And then um, I can't remember what the other pepper was. And my spearmint, like that, I couldn't keep up with it. We had too much of that. But everything else kind of sucked. All right. I didn't know, Gia. I didn't know that you, um, I didn't know you, like, you ate it daily is all I'm saying. Yeah, once I finish the house and we figure out like we're there long enough so I can figure out you know where's going to be the best places to plant in the backyard I plan on doing uh, raised beds and uh, doing something to grow some food but I have no idea what the fuck to grow up here so it'll be a while before we get in the house too yeah. and where we're at now um, there's an HOA and I get told what I can and can't do Oh, yep. okay. Well, that sucks. Yeah. HOAs are stupid. Right? <laughs> Ooh, but the town where the house is at, I can have chickens as long as none of them are roosters. Okay, sure. So you, can have, I was, so you can have all the chicks you want, you just can't have any cock. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Why don't you? But hold on, it's about to start getting like three hundred chicks a day, a week or something at the store, and I'm like, "Can I get?" Guns go buy a pellet gun. She has one. Buy a twenty. Buy a twenty-two pellet gun. Okay, not a one seventy-seven. Buy a twenty-two, and shoot the fucking fox. Gear or seventeen mag. Pretty fun. Yeah, seventeen mag would be good, but it might be a little bit too loud. Yeah, it's true. Oh my god, yeah. What's his name? Seventeen was fucking loud as fuck. Was it? Oh my god, it was so loud. Barry's Crazy Cherry from Baker Creek Seed Company is also a decent cherry tomato. I have no idea where she gets from my wife where she gets her seeds. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, but Jezo, they live in a, she lives in a rural area. I mean, she lives in a, a non rural area, so she can't be going out there with a 12 gauge. Not all of us are like you and Stump. We can hunt in our own backyard. Right. And yes, you can, you can, you can hear the jealousy in my voice. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I have big ass deer that walk through the parking lot here. 
and I can't do anything about it. I'm going to have to find out. You have a 22 pellet gun? Good. Good. Use it and shoot the fucking fox right in the head with it. No. Yeah, you can use a crossbow. The 22 pellet gun shouldn't be that loud unless you're using an air gun. You mean you have an air gun, honey? Or do you have a... Do you have a... Um, A break barrel twenty two or a springer, which is which is the one you pump. Or do you have an air gun? Do you have an air tank on your Pelican? Because twenty two Pelican's not it makes no it just goes just like a one seventy seven. <coughs> you know your regular you know your regular you shoot your eye out kid. <laughs> now those are super fun. Yeah, I got one right here beside me. I mean, it's a BB gun, but BB gun and Pelican are the same. Pretty much. But yeah, the 22 right to the head would be fine. I do hunt in my backyard. Lucky you. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Jesus Christ. She's a palm knocker, too. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Not like back in the day, I'm like, when you went on load some. I load on some <laughs> crick and I look around to see all the people going on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? Those days are long over. Alrighty, gear. Break barrel. Okay, but that shouldn't be that loud, sweetie. All right, gear. Um, you, yeah, no, you should be all right with that. Use a hollow point. Um, use a hollow point pellet, okay? It should stop it from, you don't want to go all the way through it, you know. Right. Especially if you're going to save the pelt, so. Let's shoot it right in the head. Huh? Honey, I have a, I have a brake power 177. And. My neighbor's got the break barrel 22. I shoot him out here, and there's no, nobody's calling the cops, nobody's doing anything because of the loudness. <laughs> Jay Watt, right? Right on, Jay Watt. <laughs> <laughs> My brother had a neighbor that was a dingbat. And we were killing the pig one day. And we used the twenty-two handgun. Uh, my grandfather's revolver. And, oh. Uh, and uh, he says, my brother says, do you want me to do it? He says, yeah, you can do it if you want. I was all right. And then my nephew said, oh, Mike, can I do it? I said, hmm. look at his father. So I said, let him do it. I said, okay. And then I said to my brother, I go, what's that? He goes, you know the twenty-two, you know the, what the con concrete guns? You know, for driving what he calls in the concrete. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That takes a 22. <laughs> yeah, it does. So my brother goes over to his thing, and he's he goes, he, he says, let me know when he's going to do it. I says, Mike, you got to tell me. He says, okay. He says, now, and my brother would hit it. <laughs> and they'd shoot it almost the same, almost simultaneously. Ah, Fox is taking out over everything. Not nice. What did I do that wasn't nice? <laughs> I'm not sure, Mikey. Honey, I'm trying to help you. Huh. 
I don't know what I did. Why do you retract? Retract what? I don't retract anything. Jay White does, though. Oh, Jay White always retracts shit, comes girl. Don't worry about it. It's like his thing to do. It's like his signature. You know what I mean? It's all good. Don't worry about it. Jay Watt's got this thing in his brain. Leave no trace. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way it is, sweetheart. It's fine. It's all good. <clears throat> I think she's had a problem with that fox for a long time, unless it's a different one. Well, the fox needs to go to Fox Heaven. Yes, it does. Or become a scarf or something. So, Both kids are in bed, and I didn't even have to use chloroform. Yay, go me. You. I was really concerned about the chloroform recipe, so I'm like, oh, don't make me have to do it. <laughs> One of you may not make it. <laughs> Swan, what's up? Swan, how that lie, sweetheart? How's it going, Flan? Good to see you. My fuzzy boots. It's cold. <laughs> Flan, you actually, unfortunately, came at a... Uh, you want to breed rabbits and a chickens? Good idea. Uh, there's a guy on YouTube that breeds rabbits. And you don't laugh. The way he does it, he keeps them, like, layered, okay? And then he has trays. They almost look like cookie sheets. And he made what is like a drawer almost, you know? And he takes the, you know, he takes the shit and then just put new bags. It does whatever with it after that. But it's not all over the ground. It's not, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry about that, Flan. Your sister was awesome. Yeah, sorry about that, Flan. You need my help, sweetie? Uh, sweetie, there's nothing I can do about it. J uh, Gerald B's got a good, a good thing. Get a couple of live traps. Yeah, live traps would be a really good idea. Yeah, you can do, uh, I would do live chat. Uh, Jezza, what would she put in? I wouldn't put in, like, I'd put in whatever it's eating, you know? Like, if it's eating, let's say it's eating your cabbage. I get out and buy a fucking couple of things of cabbage. Uh, I wouldn't use anything with stink to it. I wouldn't use, I wouldn't use, like, you know, cat food or any sardine or anything like that because, you got to be Tom, Dick, and Harry, fucking raccoon, and everything else in there. Tom, Dick, and Harry, what? Raccoon. Oh. If she uses a bait with a stink, i.e. cat food, sardine, you know, anything like that, She's going to get every fucking raccoon and fucking squirrel and everything else towards that live trap. She doesn't want all that. Right. So whatever that fox is eating is what I would put in the trap. That would be my guess. Uh, yeah, I got no bad weather here, Fawn. I got two nights of weather is, is the problem. 
Yeah, see, Gerald B agrees with me. He said you choose whatever the fox is going after. All right, guns, girl. So whatever it's eating out of your garden, put in the trap. And then once it's in your cage, you can shoot it. <laughs> or, or get in your car, or your truck, whatever you got. Drive to fucking Massachusetts and give it to me. Right. It's only like a 12, 13 hour ride from Michigan. <laughs> from Michigan, right? <laughs> Coming from the person that won't sit there and drive over six hours. <laughs> I'll drive over six hours. I don't, I just don't want to, and I won't stop. You know, unless I need fuel or I have to poop. Because <laughs> <laughs> other than that, I'm pissing in a fucking coffee cup. You know, like the coffee to go as you get at fucking Duncan's or whatever. Right. Yep. All right. All right, ladies. Um. It's cold. Blinds for the Eagles. Hey, Jay Watt. Count to five. <laughs> right on, Joe. Right on, Joe. So. Right on. Have a great night, everybody. All right, you good guys. Night. We are gonna say. Uh, we're gonna say good night. I will see you next week. I don't know if I'm going to do one Friday night. But if Stevie doesn't do one Saturday, I'll do one Saturday. All right. All right. Sounds good. All right. But uh, either way, I'll see you at some time next week. Yep. All right. Uh, thanks, everybody, for stopping in. Much appreciated. It was cool seeing Joe's Neon. It was awesome seeing Seeing uh, Guns Girl. Haven't seen her in a while. Heck yeah. Uh, HVAC up in Canada. Great seeing you, Fonz. Good seeing you, too. Uh, let's just see everybody. Yeah. You know? Always Maybe, good to see gear. It, yeah, even last night we saw we saw a sick man. I haven't seen sick man in a while. No. Um, it's good to see everybody out, you know. All right, guys. We will... Uh, we will talk to everybody soon. Have a good night and uh, have a good week. And we'll talk to you. We'll talk to you down the road. Have a great day, y'all.